Hey you all, welcome to Nina Yoga Now. I'm Nina and we are hitting for 10 minutes of core workout, my favorite abs. And let's do this. We'll start all the way into our backs. Make sure that you squeezing that belly button in, squeezing that low back against the floor, upper body relax right now. We'll bring hip and knee in alignment. Put that bug so we just extend a little bit of modification because we will also warm up our arms as we move our foot or leg with our arms. So keep squeezing that belly and engaging that core. We have basically three rounds and we got this. Out and in, out and in. All right, this is the first option. Second option here is lifting the shoulder blades out of the floor, keep the same movement, okay? So really getting the upper abs. So yes, you peel the shoulder blade out of the floor, keep the movement with your arms. It might decrease your range of motion, but that's totally fine. In and out, in and out. You got this, last three. Two, one, back to the floor, knees together, little lifts, reverse crunch, okay? Just a lift, I want you to focus on the slow abs now. It's a tiny, tiny lift, something that comes almost less than an inch out of the floor, okay? Try to not use momentum. The second option to do this is legs extended, just bringing the leg up, up, and up, okay? So in this movement, just watch out for you to not be using momentum and bringing the leg up. We'll have one that will bring your knees tuck into the chest in just a second. Three, two, one, here we go, bend the knees. First option, straight one leg, bend, straight other leg, bend, tuck the knee into the chest, and Again, extend one leg at the time, okay? So this is the first option, might be a little bit easier. Second option, straight both legs and tuck in. It's a little smoother, right? And in this one, you do want to try to lift the low back out of the floor, but try to maintain that range of motion as you shoot out and bring it in. Watch out to keep your low back on the floor as you extend the leg. So if you need, 45 and bring it in, okay? We got this. You can have the hands on the side, but definitely not pressing from the arms, right? So try to lift and squeeze, maybe almost like kissing your knees, right? You got it. Last two, last one, come into your side plank. You can be on a full side plank or forearm plank. I'm going for forearm, shoulder and elbow in alignment. You can have knees together, hip up, we'll push up and down. Second option, legs straight, upper leg forward. Make sure your hips are in alignment. We're going for 30, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch side. Simple as that, right? Same thing, whatever you did on the other side, we're doing on this side. Here you go, five, four, three, two, one and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forearm plank. So make sure in the balls of your foot, pressing the heels forward, tailbone a little bit under, pressing the floor away. Palms coming together, or palms down to the floor. We'll swing the hips side to side, bend the right knee, side to side, right knee, side to side, right knee. Try to maintain that hip low, okay? Now sometimes we want to lift the hips high. 
Don't do it. Might start feeling that heart rate going a little bit higher. That's what we want. Fatigue in those muscles. That's also what we want. Stabilize from the shoulders, press the floor away. We got more five, four, three, two, and one on our backs. Second round, so it's a good way that we start all over again with our dead butts. You can have the toes pointed, right? Or the foot flex. The foot flex is a little bit stronger on your legs and you feel a little bit more connected to your core. Remember, this is the first option. Second option, shoulder out of the floor, coming in and out. We will start working to endurance as we get on the second round. Remember, it's your mind now. Don't let it take control of you. Keep squeezing for three, two, and one. Knees together, lifting up into that crunch position. Up, 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 tiny, tiny movements. Remember, just feeling that low abs working. If you want, straight the leg. Something that I tell sometimes to people is to straight the arm forward, make sure they are focusing on keeping the leg or the direction of the lift up straight to the sky. Okay, so whatever feels good for you, we got this. We're going for those stack in, modify as you need, but keep moving. Let's go, tuck in, straight. Tuck in, straight, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. We got it. Try to lift a little bit more higher, maybe focusing a little bit more on this movement. I'll keeping the knee in, out, in, out, okay? Be more stronger here, feeling the core burn. Last three, two, and one. Side plank, 30 times. Let's go. 30, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, fast switch, here we go, 30, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last stand, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plank, forearm plank. Remember, as you need, make sure you have the alignment first before you swing side to side. This time, right leg bend. Side to side, right leg bend. So make sure you switch side. Side to side. Bend, side to side, maybe tap the knee. Side to side, tap. Side to side, tap. Side to side, tap. Side to side, tap. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Back into our backs. Last round, we made it. If it's too much, just take the recover. Maybe next time you come and you start and you go a little bit further, right? We build the strength. Try to not lose form here. Remember, in and out. Squeezing that low back against the floor. Squeezing that belly button in the spine. 
out and in, out and in. So I like to say that sometimes it feels like we have a little tilt of the pelvis. So it's almost like a little bit of tailbone under. So you feel a little bit more on those abs, okay? But that is just a consequence of having all the core engaged and pressing against the floor. Last feel, three, two, one. Remember, reverse crunch. It's the last round. Can we make the strongest round? So maybe we try to lift, or as we lift, slowly come down. Lift, slowly come down. Hold, and down. Up, and down. Hold, and down. Up, and down. Or we lift, to twist, and down. Up, to twist, and down. Up, to twist, and down. Up, to twist, and down. Okay? Can go a little smoother as we lift, already rotating the knees. Okay? So a little changing, not required. There's just a little spice here. So getting a little bit more of the blinks. Not that we're not working enough. All right, reverse stretch, extension. okay? So I really want you to lift and folks maybe holding for a second before I extend the leg. So exhale, tiny ball, inhale, extend. Really lifting, little hold down. Sometimes it's just a tiny fraction that you hold, and it's enough for feel that core a little bit burner. You can squeeze those knees together. We got it. We almost there. Finishing up strong. More three, two, last one. Side plank. Make sure you have the hips in alignment. One sock over the other. Yeah, I'm counting already. Five, four, three, two, one, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch side. Oh, 10 minutes go fast, right? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hand ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, forearm plank. You got it. This time we're not swinging side to side. I want the tailbone is light under, pressing the floor away. Bend both knees and extend. It can be just a soft bend. Can you go a little faster? Start feeling again those low abs, right? Strong on those legs. Strong on the shoulder. Everything connected. You can adjust yourself at any time. Just make sure, imagine you have water on your back, right? And you keep that flat and not try to lose that hip. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Push back. You made it. Good job. Hope you all have a great day ahead of you. Remember, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, all you need from your day to make it different and take you to the next level. Namaste, friends.